with the police, based on my experience from being from the west side of Chicago, based on my experience from moving from the west side to the south side, both sides is terrible, but I lived in both sides. Lived around a whole group of Mexicans before, done dealt with racism, all that. But I realized that it's not, it, it's not in the community that's racist. It's not the white community that's racist. It's just the individual. That's all it is. It's just the individual. All right, man. So look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. And dog, I can't wait to get into this. One. So enough talking. We finna hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post. Well, we not finna hit it. Y'all go on ahead and hit the like button for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Turn on post notifications. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, follow your boy on IG. All in the link description box below. It's free. Why not do it? So whatever you do. Come on, man. Let's jump right into this, man. Let go. People are protesting nowadays. They're protesting because a police officer hurt somebody <laughs> that looks like me. Amen. My color, my beard, and my lingo, you know, my swag. When they heard somebody look like me, oh, we are outraged. Why did that police do that? He's wrong. He's a trained professional. But if black lives matter, it should not matter only when an officer that don't look like me hurts me. There's a lot of murders from people that look like me killing me. And I don't see the outrage. There need to be an outrage when anyone is murdered in our community. And I'm saying white and black because that's how people look at things nowadays. But we have to learn to where people is not white or black. Is that, that stuff needs to be over. It's not black lives matter. It's all lives matter. Thank you. 11-year-old Davon McNeil's grandfather says the boy was running into this building last night to grab a phone charger on the way to a community cookout. That's when he says gunshots rang out and the 11-year-old fell to the ground. 11. 11-year-old. 11 and you know what's crazy, bro? I, I don't know why I did this, but I was arguing with somebody in the comment section. I don't, don't ask me why did I do it. I don't know. I It was late. I was just tired. I just want to do something, okay? But... I was talking about, I said, man, we talk so much about police brutality, but we never talk about the black, we never talk about the black on black crimes. Why we never talk about that? When I mentioned that, he was like, oh, that's a whole nother topic for a different day. No, that's not a whole nother topic for a different day. We can't keep talking about police brutality in a black community when we're not talking about the black on black crimes in the black community. And it's sad. This little boy was 11 years, 11, freaking 11, bro. And then we say, and then we say that we are oppressed by white people. We this, we that by white people. It's always white this, always white that. Come on, man. This is this has to stop. I'm bro. I'm 19 years old. I live in Chicago. The reason I don't go to the to the city as much as I used to is because I, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna. Lie. I know that God don't give us a spirit of fear, but I be fearful, bro. I be fearful that I'm gonna step into the city because I live in the suburbs. But I be fearful I'm gonna step into the city, and I don't mind saying that because y'all don't y'all don't know what suburbs. So it's a lot of suburbs in Chicago. But anyways. I be so fearful that I'm gonna step into the city and somebody gonna mistake me for a person that I'm not because of how I come out or how I present myself. I have tattoos all over, two arm sleeves full. I wear a lot of do rags. I got ears piercings. You know what I'm saying? Nose piercing. Got slits in my eyebrows. I don't want people to think that I'm something that I'm really not. And I regret getting all this done to my body. I regret it. I was young and dumb. But that's what I fear. So I shouldn't have to fear that another person is going to kill me because not because of the color of my skin. I'm not I'm not scared of police. That's the thing. I'm not even scared of the police. I drive regular by the police. I don't do too much. I don't do that. I'm not even scared if I get pulled up by the police. I'm not. I'm more scared of getting killed by another black man. And you tell me that's not a problem within our community. <laughs> That's when he says gunshots rang out and the 11 year old fell to the ground. Davon McNeil died after police say a group of men started shooting near 14th and Cedar Streets in Southeast DC. Kind of hit home when this happened to uh, my grandson. You know, it, I'm not supposed to outlive him. Yeah, I should be gone first. July 4th at 9.30, he, when his mom she turns, she see Davon dive to the ground. At least that's what she thought. After the shots, she look at Davon waiting for him to get up. He, up, he don't get up. So she gets out the car, walk over there, and kind of find out he was shot. And it's not just Davon. All of a sudden, I find out six other kids around the United States lost their lives on the 4th of July. So what happened? Was there open season on young people on the 4th of July? Somebody know who did those shootings. That somebody that know, 
need to pick up the phone and report it before we have some more babies that get shot and killed. And we've been hearing lately about defunding the police department. Absolutely a bad idea, to my opinion. Who are we gonna call? Ghostbusters? No way. We can't call Ghostbusters. We Bro, I don't even pay attention to that. That, that is just straight stupidity. Why would you defund the police? Why? Who even comes up with that type of idea? Oh yeah, we're gonna defund the police. Why? Why would you? Why would you want to do something like that? Literally, who are we going to call, bro? Who are we going to call? Well, we in trouble. Who are we gonna call? I, I'm I'm waiting on the answer. You people just be so stupid, bro. So stupid. <laughs> we need the police department. We need detectives. We need these people to come when we have that incident in our, in our community so we can report it. So now if there's a shooting, a stabbing, no police come, what you gonna do? You can't do anything. So now we're gonna have a real live purge. That's what, hey, no police services, nothing coming out. You guys go do what you wanna do. So the criminal gonna go out there, walk around, shooting up people, hurting people, raping our young ladies. Everything gonna happen, you know why? no police this is 2020 my community now got white people in it so i don't want you just to come when i get murdered if i have a white person in my community i want y'all to come too that white person that's in my community is my friend in my community we got a we have a swimming pool guess what i'm in that swimming pool with that white person my child or my grandchild is playing with that white grandchild and i'm saying white and black because that's how people look at things nowadays but we have to Learn to have people. It's not white or black. It's that that stuff needs to be over. I'm a black person all the way. Look at me. I, I can't hide it. But I can't go around and saying uh, the white man did this to me. The white man ain't did nothing to me. Thank you. What happened in the past happened. Now we have. To and, and I want I want a hater to comment on this video because apparently so many people be coming at my neck. Oh, you're just young. You're just young. You gotta still live through. Bro, this is a veteran that we're talking about right now. A man who been through a lot. All right. And he basically, he said, not basically, he's literally saying the same thing I'm saying. Same thing I'm saying. But let me guess, he needs to live a little bit longer too. <laughs> to move on. Last night while I was marching, I had white man come up to me and shook my hand, offered me water. He ain't did nothing to me, I ain't did nothing to him. Why are we continuing to say that? All lives matter, period. Uh, anything happened to anybody in our community, the community need to come out and help. Just like I saw white people out there protesting with black people, I wanted the same way if a white person's hurt in my community, if a black person hurt in my community. But we all got to live in the same community and work and, and play and, and help each other out. Bro, that message was so freaking beautiful. It was so freaking beautiful. I'm not even trying to joke around. And this is and this is the thing, bro. I, I talk about that so much about the the whole like all lives matter thing. And they say they still say, man, you don't know what black people do. They they do this for a simple traffic stop. Bro, I tell you once again, I'm not saying that it's police out here. I'm not saying there's not no police out here that's gonna kill you or that's gonna harm you for your skin color. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is this police brutality in every single community, not just black community. You know what I'm saying? The same thing black people go through. Oh my gosh, it's a white person that's going through the same exact thing or went through the same exact thing. Y'all don't be realizing that because y'all listen to the media so much and the media don't put those type of stuff out there. The same way black, the same way white people is protesting uh, in the Black Lives Matter movement. I feel like if a white, if white people have a, a movement because somebody in their community died, I feel like we need to be out there the same way that they was out there for us. It, it's not white and black, bro. We all one. We all freaking American. I'm not saying, I know everybody in America is not, no, not everybody was born and raised here, but I'm just saying in general, bro, like, if you are American, obviously I'm talking to you, it's not black and white, we all are American, when we step out this country, they not gonna say, oh, you're black, you're white, no, we're Americans, simple as that, Th that's it, when I went to Jamaica, it wasn't, oh, you're black, no, it was, oh, you're, you're American, or oh, it's just like Jamaica, I don't say, oh, you're black, I was like, they were like, oh, I'm Jamaican, it, it's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, we gotta, we gotta realize that we're one, bro. It don't matter the race, it don't matter what it is. We're one. Nobody will come to that conclusion because it's always the white man did this and the white man did that, bro. I've been through a lot. I, I have. I've been through a lot. I got a whole life ahead of me, and I might go through a whole bunch of more troubles.
But as right now, I'm basing off my experience with the police, based off my experience from being from the west side of Chicago, based on my experience from moving from the west side to the south side. Both sides is terrible, but I lived in both sides. Lived around a whole group of Mexicans before, done dealt with racism, all that. But I realized that it's not, it, it's not in the community that's racist. It's not the white community that's racist. It's just the individual. That's all. It, it's just the individual. It's all taught in the household. It all starts from just that one individual. It's not the whole white community that's racist. Just maybe one individual. I'm just saying. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh, in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.